global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. We have a shocking news day. It's really shocking because it's coming from um, one person who is... Uh, uh, had been in politics for quite a long time and also had been in Lagos for quite a long time and also is a citizen of Lagos. He had decided to open up on some top secret, which I feel is a top secret because um, saying such a thing when those people are in influential position in Lagos State can trigger just anything. And he had opened up that some of the top appointees and uh, top uh, politicians who have been elected into prestigious positions in Lagos State are actually not native of Lagos. In other words, they are not Lagosian. They are from other parts of the country. And uh, I would like to just read the details so that you get to know and you'll be so surprised of the people he made mention of. They are yet to respond to it. But however, let's just reveal this secret. He said they and the news have it that a former deputy national chairman of the People Democratic Party, PDP Chief Olabode George, and two other members of the Omo Eko Pataki Forum, has alleged that the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sanwolu, his deputy, Dr. Obafemi Hamza, and many top political office holders in the state are not native of Lagos State. The member of the forum claimed that the senator representing the state at the National Assembly, Oluremi Tinibu, which is the wife of Tinibu, and Solomon Adeola, speaker of the State House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa, the secretary to the state government, Mrs. Folashade Jaji, and the head of service, Hakim Muri Okunola, are also not from the state. The forum said there is they, this in an advertorial title, Lagos, the imperative of cultural renaissance, signed by Chief Body Judge as the leader of the forum, Major General Tajudin Olare Waju, retired, a former GOC State Armor Division Judge, as a trustee of the forum, and Mr. Badebo Dallas, a former managing director of the National Economic Reconstruction Fund, as another trustee. In the advertorial published on Sunday, punch, the member of the forum lamented that the legendary accommodating openness that Lagos State is known for was becoming a curse, noting, however, that they would no longer watch the state become a no man's land where anything goes. The advertorial reads, and I quote, it said, from the years of Brigadier Johnson to that of Brigadier Mawa, all those who govern Lagos State gave the native their natural pride of place and presence in the governance of their soil. The representation in power equation was equitably distributed along the traditional lines of Ibele. It was ge generously inclusive of all shades and color of our multi rainbow society. The major division, as represented in the acronym called Ibile, were all given equal and adequate representation in the governance of the estates. Not anymore. In 1999 aberration, which witnessed the emergence of Mr. Bola Tinibu, changed the whole order. Lagosians are now reduced to almost second-class citizen on their native soil. Their inalienable right of self-determination, which is guaranteed by our constitution, has been largely voided, dismantled by a solitary usurper. The group said its position was void of prejudice, but that it couldn't ignore that it called the truth and scary reality nothing that the present political and administrative structure in the state were hardly representative way hardly representative of the will, purpose, and summative identity of the people. And they added, and I quote, he said, from the ascent of governorship power in the round house in Alausa to the seat of the deputy governor from the three senatorial incumbent, Bayo Osinowo, who represented Lagos, is, is now deceased, and to the Speaker of the House of Assembly, the SSG, the HOS, 
none of the occupiers of this crucial position is a native of Lagos State. Where else in this country can this kind of odious and sickening abnormality happen without an uprising? This flies in the face of equity and fairness. This is not right. This is not just. If added, I said, like George Floyd, they are kneeling on our necks and we cannot breathe. From politics to administration and now our culture, they are mingling, mangling our indigenous identity. This evil has gone, gone full circle. The glaring interference in the Oniru's tool has added a new dimension to the deliberate erosion of our cultural identity. One brazen supremo now decides who becomes the governor and who occupies a royal seat. Mm. We are indigenous na natives of Lagos State. We, as indigenous natives of Lagos State, feel endangered. Surely we can't continue like this. The tradition of complicity and silence is over. Let us all rise to defend what is our bed by ancestry and tradition. Let me read that again. Say, Let us all rise to defend what is ours by bed, by ancestry and tradition. Enough is enough. We find it repugnant and absolutely unacceptable the reduction of Lagos State to a no man's land where anything goes. Otoge. In his response, the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Boyega Akusile, faulted the claim, noting that Sanwolu parental home on the Lagos Island was well known to people. He added, clearly, and I quote, he said, clearly, the Governor and these people they mentioned are Lagosians of first order. Everyone knows the governor's parental home on Lagos Island. However, this is not the time for us to talk about who is a Lagosian or who is not. Whoever is behind such is looking for social and political relevance. They should rather join hand with the governor to move the state forward instead of debating about who is from Lagos or not. Hmm. It's, it's really, really a serious issue. And... Um, there had been different responses from different areas. But, you know, let's just try to say the truth here. I don't know how true this is, but a uh, judge, former national chairman of PDP, had been for a while now very controversial, and he has targeted most of the top guys in APC and all of that. We may not really know the details into this, but I think someone needs to speak out so that we can ascertain if truly these guys are from Lagos State. Yeah, we are one Nigeria, as they normally say, though we know a sec, a sec, different sects are trying to you know, stay out of the one Nigeria, like Biafra and also Duduwa Republic and other persons who are yearning because yearning to break out because of you know the rate of marginalization. But come to think of it, looking at state-wise, you will notice that every state is meant to be ruled by their own native and not by a stranger, because if the person is uh, a stranger, automatically you will see some flaws and certain things happening, which is not absolutely right, you know. But before we go into further discussion, let's just look at some of the things Nigerians have to say about what he had uh, opened up our minds to. This one says, Tinibu is very influential. No one can be like him in Nigeria for now. Akpabi tried and fell. Tinibu influence won Osun election. Now, Oshimole wants to, to try his luck. We will know who is the real politician by 2023 after all ex-governor tries to tour Tinibu's part. And some people say here, this one says, this guy is saying trash. Sanwolu is a confirmed Lagos and his family is even popular on the island. Now, popularity does, I'm not defending anybody, but I think that there are better ways of expressing this. They need to be facts on ground to prove how true this is and that will be tracing his lineage ancestry tracing his ancestry where is it coming from because if one stays in a particular place for too long and adopt the names automatically you can be called a, a citizen of that or indigenous of that place uh, by bed a lot of people can call you an indigenous you know 
So no one can say because somebody has a house, so many Bo people have houses in Lagos State, so many Crossimerians have it, so many um, Hausa guys, they have it there, you know, and most of them are trying to adopt even the way of life of the Yorubas, way of life of, uh, you know, the Yoruba people. And some of them can speak Yoruba fluently. Some of them can speak even native Yoruba. Some speak even Ibadan Yoruba and all of that. So what you cannot say because somebody has a house in a particular place automatically uh, by ancestry, he's from there. You know, it, it, can, it can be proven by no matter how popular they are. Wealth can make people very popular, you know. I'm just trying to correct an impression there. And another person here says, what a flawed argument. So anyone whose parent built a house in any state is automatically an indigenous of the state. Not that I myself am a Lagosian by bed, but having lived, work, and paid taxes all these years in Lagos, I consider myself a Lagosian except the constitution of the state says otherwise and clearly spell out who is a citizen or not. Beside, it is well known fact that for almost for almost any place that experiences rapid development, the lines between indigenous and foreigners become blur over a period of time that you can hardly tell, especially when they bear the same names and speak the same language. The last president of America was of African descent and the current one is partly German. I think this person is also um, trading the part of truth here. The, the, the truth of the matter is, I think this man is trying to look at what is happening as the appointments that are coming in and all of that. But I think what is, uh, what body judge need to understand is, you know, the, the purpose of people staying there. Is it for the general well-being of the state or do you see them depleting you know the progress of the state frustrating good things that ought to happen for example if you notice um the fulani guys they're trying to take over nigeria by going to virtually all the state to have a part there but you know people won't bother if you're coming there to develop the state because no matter what we are uh, like we are working together and all of that but if you are coming into the play. That's where people are overly concerned and they will begin to react. So, um, talking about ancestry and all of that, but personally, in Nigerian politics, let's be real to ourselves. Um, do if you stay in a place uh, as provided in the constitution, you can likely become a citizen of that place and all of that. But for Nigeria, you must at least have your roots in that state before you can take up some important elective position, especially like, especially like governor position, at least you must from, come from there. So I think that's where Bode is trying to say that the natives have been relegated. But then we are still not so sure of what he is saying. Another person here says, an elderly Lagos man with gray hair is telling you history of his town and you are calling it trash. So why should we listen to Indomie generation kids like you from Ogbomosho. Yeah, that's another very big, big um, reason why one must give an ear to what he's saying. But the George is not 12 years old. He's not even a 50-year-old man. He is a man that had been for as long as I know. I don't. I can't exactly tell his age right now, but I know he's very close to 80. Or maybe gone past 80. So for such people to open their mouth and tell you things about a particular place, the history of a place, um, you must listen with rap attention because I believe that there's a lot of truth in what he is saying. And I believe that that should be reconciled speedily because if they keep on reawakening the consciousness of the fact that these people are not from that state, Lagos, it can trigger anything in the nearest future. Because when that happens, automatically, the likes of Tinibu, people will begin to spend quality time to unveil where exactly he is from. And that may likely affect the level of loyalty he has been enjoying, you know. But however, we like to leave it there. Go to our comment section, let us interact. What do you think about the fact that... Um, all this allegation is coming on. How true do you think it is? Considering the fact that it is an 80 plus, you know, 70 to 80 plus year old man.